In this demo, let us build a continuous deployment pipeline using Jenkins and Chef. This is the workflow used in the demo. First, build a Jenkins pipeline. Then, launch an EC2 instance. Bootstrap Chef client on the EC2 instance. Pull the recipe from Chef server and execute it on the EC2 instance. The Chef recipe, in turn, pulls the application code from Git repo configures the EC2 instance, and deploys the application. The Chef recipe also associates a static IP to the instance. Lastly, as a part of the Jenkins pipeline, an automated test suite can be run following the application deployment. We choose one of the static IPs in Amazon where the application will be deployed. This will be hard-coded in the Chef recipe, and every time the application is deployed through Jenkins pipeline, this static IP will be assigned to the EC2 instance. This is the Jenkins pipeline which builds the applications, deploys it onto the EC2 instance, and then tests the application endpoint using the static IP address. Let us take a quick look at the EC2 deploy job. It pulls the application code from the GET repo and invokes an ANT task to deploy the application to EC2. The server name parameter is used to name the instance at the time of launch. Let us name the instance as cloud demo client. Now, as a post build operation, let us run another job named test app, which tests the application endpoint based on the static IP. Let us now initiate the job. EC2 instance named cloud demo client gets launched. At the end of the configuration, the instance will be assigned a static IP from AWS using the Chef recipe. The job is now bootstrapping Chef client on the target host. Chef client is started on the target host. Chef client runs the recipe trove app deploy demo on the target host. Let us check the hosted Chef account to see if the instance of the Chef node is configured. We can see that cloud demo client node is added. Now back to the Jenkins job. The Chef client is pulling the application source code from GitHub. Chef client execution is complete. Using the static IP address, we can now access the application endpoint. Let us modify the application source code in the GET repo and push the code changes again. Let us terminate the target host and redeploy the application from Jenkins. Let us change the name of the target instance this time as Chef Demo Client. Target host is launched and the application is redeployed. Let us access the application endpoint using the same static IP address again. The welcome message changes are reflected. Thus, a continuous deployment can be automated. And we can extend this further to automatically deploy the application whenever application code changes. Test app job got completed as well. Now this is run test ng tests against the application endpoint. Let us log to the EC2 instance and take a look at the recipe that does the job. The Trove app Deploy Demo Cookbook uses the data bags to access GitHub and to configure static IP to the EC2 instance. It installs the necessary packages and uses get config to pull the source code. Once the application is deployed on target host, a static IP is assigned to the host. Hope you find this demo useful. For more information on continuous deployment automation, 
talk to us at info at bluemeric.com.